Okay, well, hello everyone. So this is just going to be a short summary of ILE 111 slash ILE 125, so English for Global Exploration. So th I'm just doing a short summary of class number one, okay? All right, so let's get started here. So the topic of the class was um, American English versus British English. Um, so basically in, in the class, what I did was I did a short introduction of myself, and then I introduced the course. Um, that, that took roughly about 30 minutes. And then uh, for the re remainder of the course, I introduced the class LMS system. Um, and also I covered that again in all the other classes too. Generally what I do for all the other classes, I will, before we finish the lesson, I will go back to the LMS system or slash Moodle and explain to you um, the, the, the contents of the class and then uh, what we uh, covered and also introduce some of the, the homework that, that you have to submit. All right. Okay. So I think we shall get started here. So in terms of talking about American English versus British English. Okay. So let, let, let's get started here. And, pr and pretty much this whole class, um, for this class, it's pretty much um, vocabulary based. Uh, the, just the differences in the vocabulary in terms of British English, American English. And w w what I talked about in the class, in the, in, in the introduction, was I stated basically what this class does is it introduces you to different countries, different cultures um, through English. Okay? All right. So let's get started here. So how do we say this in British English? Okay, so Americans, and that's what I am, uh, we say French fries. But then in British English, they say chips. So th th this can be a little confusing sometimes because Americans, we say British English. And British, they say chips. But if we say chips, if Americans say chips to us, um, that means potato chips. But then for British people, potato chips, that means crisps. So, so sometimes there can be a short or, or like a small misunderstanding sometimes. But most Americans know when they say fish and chips, that means fish, um, breaded fish and some French fries. But of course, that's one of my most favorite, um, I guess, British food is uh, uh, fish and chips. So that's, I guess that's the main reason why I would like to visit um, uh, the UK someday, someday, not, not, not for the rain, uh, not for the soccer, but for the fish and chips. Okay. All right. So next one. So how do you say this in British English? So Americans, we say eraser, but British people, they say rubber. So obviously rubber in English means something else. And if you want to know what that is, I'm not going to say, but I'm not going to tell you, but you, you can look online. Um, but yeah, when originally when people say rubber in, like, for example, oh, do you have a rubber? If you say that in America, you'll, you'll get some laughs. <laughs> okay. All right. So next. Okay. Americans, we say truck and then British people, they say lorry. Okay. And, of course, in American English, lorry, that's a, of course, different spelling. But lorry, is, that's a, 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 um, a female name. So, actually, my, my cousin who lives in uh, uh, Florida, her, her, her name is lorry. So, yeah. Okay, next one. Okay, Americans say movie theater. British people, they say cinema. Okay, so, actually, we Americans, we, we say both movie theater movie theater and cinema so th there would be no misunderstanding um about that if if you know if you're in either if you came to america and if you said cinema you know we we, we say both okay next oh so americans say can and then british people they say tin so like a can of coke or a tin of coke or a tin of sardines something like that okay next restroom and then british people they say public toilet all right so actually i've, I've found out that a lot of uh asian countries too they use the word toilet but um if you if you say if you're in an american restaurant 
and you tell everyone at the table, oh, I'm going to the toilet. Um, you know, that's uh, we, we would understand what you're, what you're saying, but that's a bit too much information. So when they say toilet, in our, in our minds, we're thinking, oh, gosh, soon it's going to be like ah, ah, something like that. So it's too much information. All right. So if 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 you go to America, if you go to America, um, if you go to uh, like a restaurant, restroom. Uh, if it's someone's house, bathroom. Um, but yeah, we we won't we don't say toilet because that's a little too much information. And so um, best when you use the restroom or bathroom or toilet. Um, if you're in America, it's best not to say toilet so that the people they can. Um, uh, ma make up their own image in their mind of what of what will happen. Okay, all right. Next is so Americans say subway, and British people say they say underground or tube. Okay, all right. And next, pants, and then British people they say trousers. All right. So um, and uh, so some people in in some countries pants means underwear, but uh, America. Pants, British people, they say trousers. Next, okay, this this one, this is a, even a little confusing for me. Um, so Americans, we say first floor. But British people, they say ground floor. And, and in turn, uh, for a second floor in America, that would mean first floor in the UK. So, I mean, that, that to me, that that's understandable. But like in Thailand... They use both systems. All right, so if you go to the university and you go to this this building right here, go to building 11, okay, they use the American uh, method. So first floor, second floor, third floor. But then if you go to like Future Park, w which is most of you know, it's this, it's this huge shopping mall, they go by ground floor, then first floor. So it's in Thailand, they use both, metho both methods. And sometimes it can be a little confusing because if you go ask for help or if you say, oh, I'll, I'll uh, meet you on the first floor in Future Park. So first floor, that's actually what I would call the second floor. And then versus if you if you say, oh, let, let's let's meet let's meet on the um, second floor in um, in building 11. And so that second floor, that would be for British people, that would be um, second floor or sorry, that second floor would be for the first floor. So you, even for me, I'm getting a little confused right now. So yeah, but that's just th the way it is, uh, the American way versus the British way. Um, and th th there, ag and again, there is no standard of English. Uh, you people can speak using British English, American English, and and in the next video we're, we're going to be talking about Canadian English, New Zealand English, and you can even have like Singlish. So Singlish, which is um, the English spoken in Singapore. So, yeah. Okay, so next is... Okay, so th this is a big one. Um, not so big in America, but big for, um, I guess, the rest of the world. So Americans um, and, and, and Canadians, we say soccer. Uh, but um, outside of America, or outside of North America, they say football. And so for an American, if someone says soccer or football, it's, it's really no big deal. Um, but for a British person, like it's my, um, my perception is that don't ever use the word soccer, <laughs> you use football. And, and even now, since I've been living in, um, Asia for the past, what, 15 years, um, now I generally, I just, I, I don't say a soccer field. I say football field because there's so, there's so many, there are a lot more, I come across more British people than American people, um, in Asia. So, okay. Next is, okay. So now we're going to switch. So these, this is British English. And what would, a, what would an American say? So actually I didn't learn this word until I moved to Japan. So aubergine. So that's British English. An American would say eggplant. And actually when I lived in America, I never ate an eggplant before. Um, and, and I ate it the, for the first time in Japan. Um, it was a little strange because it's a purple vegetable. And for me, purple is kind of like the color of candy. So it got 
um, a little getting used to, but yeah, I think it's okay. But yeah, but since moving to Thailand, I've never, never had eggplant. Next, bin. So British people, they say bin. And Americans, they say trash can. And then for rubbish, British people, they say rubbish. Americans, they say garbage. Okay, now, <coughs> uh, speaking in terms of the car, okay, the back part of the car, the, the part where you put all the groceries in, uh, British people, they call this the boot. And Americans call it the trunk. All right. Next, the bonnet. So this is the front part of the car. This is where the engine is. Or if you were like me, um, I had a uh, my first car. It was a, a Fiat X19. So the, actually the engine was in the middle of the car. So we had a small trunk or small, I even forgot the word here, a uh, small boot. And then... Uh, then we also had a, a bonnet up front, of course, of course, up front bonnet, but we had a bonnet and, uh, and you open up the bonnet, no engine, but that's where I would also put my groceries. They had, they had a small little, uh, space there. So, and then of course, Americans, we call this the hood. And next is British people. They say candy floss and Americans, we say cotton candy. So this is something generally in America, we, we get. You, you go to a country fair um, or the for those that have been to the Oregon country fair, uh, you, you might get something else. But uh, yeah, generally for a fair, um, you get um, either cotton candy or British people, they say candy floss. Even for me now, candy floss sounds a little strange because it, to me, floss sounds like dental floss, which is we use to clean your teeth. So, but yeah. Okay, and next is, okay, this one's kind of easy. Lift. British people, they say lift. And Americans, we say elevator. Okay. Next, British people, say they say flat. Americans say apartment. Okay. And torch. British, British people, say they say torch. Americans, they say flashlight. But if an American, if they heard the word torch... Um, they would think of like the Statue of Liberty, you know, the Statue of Liberty there. She's holding a big torch. So that, that's, that's what, w what we would call a torch. So th there may be a little um, miscommunication regarding that um, if you're in America. And, okay, last one. Okay, we have a biscuit. British people, they say biscuit. Americans, we say cookie. But then if you say biscuit in America... That's like this small little British people they, they call they call them scones, but it's a kind of a small kind of pastry kind of bread that we eat for, for dinner. Usually we'll we'll break it in half and we'll put butter on it. Um, and usually that's a like a staple food for American uh, um, dinner. Okay, so I guess we are finished for the uh, first summary of uh for um class number one a and again so so this course basically what it's about is we are just um we're we're introducing you to di diff to different countries and different cultures by ways of english all right so th this class is uh meant to be a lot of fun so you can introduce uh, other cultures and also and also for you guys to introduce your culture um to me and to the rest of the class all right, so I look forward to the rest of the term, and, um, and, and I hope you enjoyed this video. All right, okay, thank you.